and 11 startling new stats are out about prescription painkillers. Government health experts say middle-aged women are the fastest growing group of people dying from the dangerous overdoses. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Hogan has our story new at 11. Well, these are certainly startling statistics we're seeing here, and that's why the Centers for Disease Control is now warning doctors to make sure that when prescribing painkillers to their patients, they use extra caution. New statistics from the CDC show the number of women who died from prescription painkiller overdoses rose 400% between 1999 and 2010. The report says during that time, nearly 48,000 women died overdosing on painkillers, including Vicodin and OxyContin. They shouldn't be used lightly. Where they're essential, where they're necessary, something like severe cancer pain, by all means, they're important tools to help patients. But all too often, the risks are way higher than the benefits. The report finds prescription painkiller overdoses are also on the rise for men, but not as sharply as for women. Previous research has shown that women are more likely to have chronic pain, more likely to be prescribed painkillers, and more likely to be given higher doses. Studies have also shown that women may become dependent on prescription painkillers more quickly than men. Health experts say there are steps women can take to stay safe from prescription painkiller overdoses. Take it only as indicated on the bottle. Once you're finished taking the prescription pain medication, you should get rid of those prescription pain medications and not save them for another time. And always discuss all medications you take with your doctor. The CDC says 6,600 women died from prescription drug overdoses in 2010. That is four times as many who die from cocaine and heroin combined. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.